Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, this video we're going to create our um, volley queue and we're going to actually start our or start creating our request. So if you're wondering how volley works is volley is a bit strange because as you said as we did before we create a client and then we use our client to execute a get method and then execute it came back we processed the result volley is, is a tiny bit different as to how it actually works how volley works is we create a queue we add a request to the queue and then the volley library goes off and handles that request and then when it works it uh, it gives a call back. If any of you have done any JSON work, or not JSON, JavaScript coding with uh, JSON or Ajax, you'll know if this will seem very, very familiar. So, what we're gonna do is, we need to create our request queue. Now normally this request queue would go inside your application object. So you'd subclass application, you put it in there and you'd import it that way. We're not gonna do that though because it takes time. So we're gonna create a request queue. Q, Q, U, E, U, E, okay, equals volley, dot, new request queue, uh, context, this, okay, import request queue. So now we've got a request queue, and this will handle all the requests for our entire application. That's why we want it in the application object. So if the application is alive in the system, the same request queue, queue will be used because if you use multiples of these, volley is just going to go and explode. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a request, or we want to create a new JSON request, okay? R e q u e s t. equals new JSON request. Okay, so we should be able to import JSON request. Now this constructor is wrong. I've actually gone and spelled this incorrectly. It's JSON object request is what we want. And we import JSON object request. That's it there. Now this constructor is wrong. So Oh God, big pile of stuff. Ah, what is all this? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to tell the JSON thing what method we're using, whether we're using get or put. We need the URL. We need our listeners for error and JSON objects, okay? So what's our, uh, how do we get the method? So it's or e q u request dot method dot get and that t should not be there request dot method dot get our url string well we're just going to very quickly go to the youtube json c and we're going to look for video feeds okay so i found the uh, feed url that's it there. It's HTTP, GData, YouTube.com, feeds, API, users, twist equations, uploads, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Big pile of stuff. You can look this up on the YouTube JSON C page. So we want to put in our feed URL in here, the second part of it. Now, the last thing is JSON uh, object, JSON request. Can leave that as null. Now, there are two fucking car alarms going off nearby and they're really starting to annoy me. Anyway, now what we have is we have our JSON object request listener and our error listener. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our uh, listener. So when, if it's the, um, if the uh, volley library makes the request and it completes successfully and compiles all into JSON and works, this listener will fire. If it doesn't work, the error listener will fire. Fire. So we need to create our new or e e q u e s t request dot. 
Now, hang on, I need to just check my syntax here. It's not response, it's actually, it requests it's or e s p l n c or it's response dot, oh great. It's se, isn't it? Response dot uh, listener for a JSON object. So import that, import the JSON object. So the way I like to do this is I like to put these on its own line then tab it in to show that one finishing. And you have to implement a method. So this is its own little object. So essentially we're creating our listener object inside the method. So this is getting a little bit uh, nutty at the moment. And then new R-E-S-P-O-N response dot error listener. And then add our unimplemented methods. So what I meant by if you've done JavaScript before, is you know, func passing functions to functions to functions tends to be quite common. This here, look, we're passing our methods in here. So that's it. That's all the request handled. And as you can see, JSON object response, that's it. We just need to process that. So uh, actually, no, we'll do. We're just gonna get the error. So what we'll do is we'll just say toast. Toast dot make text and then oh hang on it'll be get activity actually hang on a minute I just need to create a context I always misspell that and uh, we'll just create our context object very quickly just need to pass the right context down into this uh, text will be error dot to string duration toast dot and then short dot show the toast. Okay, so now we've made our toast. And now we need to handle our JSON response. So we could do this a number of ways. Um, sure, we have our JSON object. We can just get our uh, list of videos. So what we can do is, if we look at the JSON feed, if I just look at it here, where is it? Rah. Do to do, it takes a bit of time. Yeah, so the feed goes date. We need to go in and get the data part of it. So uh, if we go in and we get, yep, so JSON object. Array videos equals response dot get JSON object data dot so inside the data we need items dot get JSON array items Okay, so now we've got that set up. Okay, so now we're getting JSON exceptions in this. This is just great. I marvel at sometimes at how frustrating things can be. <laughs> anyway, we've got that. It should like the JSON object passed correct reading, which means this isn't gonna throw any errors. So we're just gonna do a simple for loop. than videos dot length i plus plus quick for loop and just for each videos uh, string actually for each one we get video array dot add videos dot Sorry, video, videos as I dot, dot get string. And I believe the string will be called title. Yep, title. 
Ghetto. Okay. Oh, I want to think we never created JSON objects, sorry. JSON. JSON object equals a video. A JSON array dot. Oh, sorry, videos. Wait what, wait, what am I doing? I'm getting so confused right now. It's videos dot get json object at i there videos get json object at i get string title done add the things to the videos all finished so at the end of our response thing we're just going to say uh, our array adapter we just need to move this around so we can see actually we should be able to access it array adapter dot notify data set change to redraw the list Okay. Okay, need to make that a final. Now that should just work. Make a response, and then with once it starts, it'll make a quick response, or else it'll post an error. Sorry for the spaghetti issue of this video. I'm just been my head's not screwed on very well, and this is the very first time I've used Volley actually. I'm working it into one of my own projects, but I haven't actually used it in a proper project yet. Oh, <laughs> oh! I'm for f I made the request object. I never added it to the queue. We never added a request. I am so stupid. You have to add it to the request queue so it requests it, and you can actually add um, dip requests, and you can set priorities on them. Now, this is very important. So, if you want to say make a, a list, that you can scroll down. So when you hit the bottom, it needs to prioritize the data. And if it's filling images, have the images prioritized to low. You can do really cool things with uh, this volley library. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, so as you can see, a toast came up. We got an error. Uh, unknown uh, host, gdata.youtube.com. I'll just double check this. Okay, so it is working. That's really weird. Of course, it's forcing the HTTPS. We'll try HTTPS. See if that makes any difference. We'll run this again, see what happens. No connection error. Oh, I know what's wrong. Every time. Go to your thing, go down here to your uh, Android manifest and add internet permission. Every time. We can't make a connection because we don't have any internet access. <laughs> Every time this happens. Yep, we are recording. Just just double checking that thing's recording. Whew. Okay, starting. Well, bam! Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that was incredibly easy. There, all that boilerplate code from our last example, wrapped up volley, handling the request queue. So that's the basics of the volley library. We're gonna do more on that in the future. And all our requests in the future are going to use volley and action bar Sherlock in our libraries because they're just amazing. So anyway, guys, as always, it's been good talk. I'll see you out there.